Okay, so we're just going to try starting the first print with this pellet extruder. I have also shortened the feed tube for the pellet extruder because I don't have very well ground plastic at the moment, so I need to be able to stick this in and stir it around a bit to make sure we still get plastic going to the extruder. And I'm going to keep stirring it so hopefully we get enough plastic going inside the machine. I'm going to add a bit more plastic feed whilst this is going on. There you go. I used to grind it is over on the right hand side you see the black box so I've modified a normal paper shredding machine this one was rated for shredding credit cards and CDs as well um, but definitely it's a bit underpowered for shredding lots of plastic oh there we go, it's coming out now and it's lifting off the bed mm. leave it for a little bit longer and see what happens There we go, we can actually see it printing now. I'm really quite impressed actually. I wasn't expecting it to print quite so well with just so very small adjustments. I've had normal printers without, pellet, not pellet extruders, that have uh, printed much worse on the first, uh, first go trying to print a new object. Um, it is over extruding a little bit. I can, see it's, I can see the plastic sort of glooping out the sides, but um, I'm not going to adjust it for now because I want it to over extrude just because the uh, granules are very poorly ground up and some of them and it's going to under extrude in places as well I expect keep stirring that in and if it's got enough things to eat oh no and it's fallen off I think that's as far as we're going to go with this print um, that's not the pellet extruder's fault that's the uh, bed adhesion um, on this printer. So what we'll do now is we'll stop the print. There we go, so we can move it around a bit. You can kind of see the layers. This lens won't let me bring the part so close, but that's the first ever print from this part um, until it pulled off the bed. Uh, that's the inside. And that's with no retraction enabled. Um, you can see there's some places where it's got or it's messed up here, but that is what it is and it's a 1.8 nozzle so it's quite a thick nozzle but that's that's really strong and because what I want to print is um, hubs for a dome a geodesic dome um, and other mechanical things they don't need to look so pretty and this will be absolutely perfect